and good morning to one and all present here. I am Krishna in front of you and I would like to share my views on success. If anyone asked me that what is success, then I would like to say that success is a lifelong journey if you are not too lazy to relax. Everybody wants success in their life and it de success depends on the people. It is different for different people because uh, it depends on the desire and goal of the people. For example, for a student, success is to get good marks. For a uh, job seeker, to get good job in a reputated company. For a businessman, is, success is to establish his business worldwide. It is believing that success arrives with uh, time and success is achieving when hard work meets with opportunity and opportunity arrives with time. So what will we have to do? We will just sit relax and wait when will opportunity arrive? What if any unexpected opportunity arrives and we are not prepared? So be ready for all the expected and unexpected opportunities and it is important that you keep polishing your skills so you don't lose a single bit of opportunity to get success in a lifelong run. Determination is the principal secret of success. Your main aim should be happy and satisfied because for some happiness is to stay healthy, for some happiness is to stay wealthy. But it is important that you know what you want to what you want in your life. It covers half of your journey. So do hard work and focus on your goal. And it is not uh, that success is when you achieve something big. It is also success if you achieve anything in your life. So celebrate your all the victories whether it is big or small. Leave your all the moments of life because life doesn't give you chance again and again. So be ready for that and do hard work because success demands hard work. And if you want to get success, come and join us. Be the best. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Nitesh Sukla, student of my career doctor. Well, I would like to tell you about laziness. How to overcome laziness. Friends, when we don't want to do something, we feel lazy. The problem with this, why we don't want to do something? Because of all your wants emanate from your condition and condition will never want to do something. Friends, the word laziness, it totally depends on your importance of regarding anything or work. There is, let us take an example, there is a boy named X. He does not want to do anything, but when the pro problem of when the time of friends, friends call him, then he replies very fast, he is very energetic. So why he give his friends importance? Because of importance, he listen every each and everything of the, his friend. Why we are not giving importance to our all work? If we give, if X can do anything uh, to give you importance due to importance, why we cannot do anything? Problem is this: how to overcome laziness. First, exercise. Use water after waking up. Third, clean your environment. Fourth, acupressure. And fifth, be aware. And sixth, uh, purpose to do something. And seventh, to create goal within a period. Thanks, guys. Hello friends, a good morning to one and all. I am Sonika Dhama. I would like to tell you about the 5 truths of life. Number 1. Nobody is real in the world except mother. Because somebody cannot teach you good lesson better than mother and nobody can make understand you better than mother. Number 2. A poor person has no friend because he has no money and the house is also not good. That's why nobody wants to make friendship with them because they feel insult. But do not forget friends who are poor people in the world today they are success. Number 3. People don't like good thoughts, they like good looks. Friends, until you will not try to accept good thoughts, you cannot move forward in your life. Because good looks cannot make you great, I think good thoughts can make you great. Number 4. People respect the money, not the person. If you have a lot of money, then people respect you. Otherwise, people don't respect you because people love to money, not the person. Number 5. The person you love the most will hurt you the most. So friends, it's better to stay quiet. If your love wasn't enough, do you think your words will matter? So friends, believe yourself and do yourself. And thanks for watching. Hello friends, my name is 
Shivam Kumar, student of my career doctor. As you know that there are two types of countries. The first is developed country and second is developing country. So friends, developed country refer to sovereign state whose economy has highly progressed and progresses great technological infrastructure as compared to other nations like Australia, Canada, China, France, Germany, Greece, Israel and Italy etc. And the country with low industrialization and low human development index are termed as developing country like India, Pakistan, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Qatar and Philippines etc. It should be responsibility of developed country to provide proper resource to developing country to make them developed. Do you know friends why is India still a developing country not a developed country? There are many reasons but today we talk about only four main reasons. First is corruption. Corruption leads to an increase in the transaction cost. Every Indian must understand his or her responsibility to our nations. No one should look for an easy way and must stand against bribery. Example, if you caught by a traffic cop, give him 100 rupees and he will oblige. This is corruption. Second is high income inequality. Maharashtra boasts that it's become richest state in India in term of GDP per capita. But I doubt that if we ask Ambani's family, Sachin Tendulkar and Salman Khan to migrate to Bihar, then probably Bihar could become richest state in India. I am so confused. Third is lack of literacy and knowledge. It is very important topic because India ranks 92 in education. When Kerala hoping 100% literacy, other states should learn from it and try to imitate that similar their state. But our tendency is why should we imitate that puny little state? Our state is great. From this, our country ranks 92 in education. Last is no cleanliness. People eat gutka, tobacco and spit wherever they want. From this, our environment is also polluted. So guys, from these reasons, our India is still a developing country, not a developed country. So guys, thank you. Hello friends, my name is Jyoti Singh. A housewife come, a student doing BA final. I want to be a successful teacher. I think teaching is an ideal job for women. Teachers give new inspiration, new direction to children to push their goal. I also want to be a teacher and serve my country. My dream is to be a good teacher of English. My English was very weak, but I improved my English at my career doctor. My career doctor increased me, helped to the courage inside me and removed my hesitation. First of all, we must have the strong willpower to do something inside us. The same will can lead by facing the greatest difficulties uncountered on the way. Everyone says, never give up in difficulties in your life. But with the defeat, I got inspiration from my career doctor how to move forward. So the defeat said one day, I would come again and again in the wrong way. So friends, think big, think forward and think ahead because nobody has any right over ideas. I want to say thank you to Mr. Prakash Singh Azad who motivated me to get success. Thanks a lot, MCD. That's all. A very sweet and pleasant morning to one and all present here. I am unshow in front of you and now I am going to tell you about secret of life. Everyone wants to get success in their life but they don't know how to get success. So friends, secret of life states that first is passion. Be passionate towards your goal. The second is work. Do work hard to get your goal. The third is ideas. Do
Do not settle. Make new ideas in your life. Fourth is improve. Improve yourself because the luckier, the harder you work, the luckier you get. The last is persist. Be persist on your decision. So friends, now I'm going. I would like to tell you that if you want to get success, come and join us. Be the best. That's. Hello friends, my name is Vavo and I will tell you about phobia. What is the meaning of phobia? Phobia means we fear. And what is the meaning of public speaking phobia? When we speak in front of any person, so we fear. I will take example of a boy whose name is Jack. If he fears, so what is the reason behind it? The reason is he has no confidence and he is not doing constant practice for his topic or for his anything. And if you want to remove it, so what? There is three good things by which we can remove it. First is constant practice. Constant practice means daily by daily practice, not if I will do practice daily, so I will remove my hesitation. I will be a good speaker. And if I will not do constant practice, suppose I will go at my home and I will enjoy myself. Next day I will practice and another day I will left, another day I will left. So what will happen? It is not a constant practice. It is not a part of constant practice. And if I do regularly practice, so we will when I will speak in front of any person, so I will have confidence and I will speak with a great pomp and I will speak without fear. Second thing is strong determination. If we have a strong determination that I have to speak very good in speech competition. If you think that I will speak very good, I will, I will be the best. So you can do. And if you think that no, I am not a good speaker, I cannot do anything. Leave it. So you will not do. And if you think, no, I will do it. I will be the best in the speech competition. So you will definitely will do it. And third thing that you will have a willpower. Like if you want to do anything, First time you think, yes, I will do. Second time when you think that, no, it is very hard work, I cannot do. So you will left it. No. If you will not left it, no, so it, it means you have a good willpower. And if you have will, good willpower, so you can do anything. And if you think that, no, I will not do it. First, it was very easy. Now it is very hard. It seems that it is very hard. So definitely you will not do it. And if you want to remove your public speaking phobia, very uh, properly so what will have to do first you go to your home and if your teacher tell you that uh, this is the way to remove your public speaking phobia so keep attention on that things not you should uh, use your mind if you want to uh, be the best so you have to do practice and practice and practice so if you will do it so you will definitely do it and if you will not do it so it means you will not be able to do it if you want to remove your uh, Hesitation, so come and join us with the best.